You often find yourself alone, struggling to form lasting relationships or friendships. It's not that you don't want connections, it's just that they seem so complicated, so draining. Today, we're going to explore some remarkable reasons why chosen ones find themselves in loneliness. These insights might shed light on your experiences and help you understand your journey better. And some of these reasons might resonate with you, so make sure to watch till the end. Remarkable reasons chosen ones are often alone or single. Energy drain. You've likely noticed that people are drawn to you. Your energy is unique and powerful, attracting others like moths to a flame. But this constant influx of attention comes at cost. You find yourself drained after social interactions, yearning for solitude to recharge. The truth is, your vibration is different from most. When you interact with those who can't match your frequency, it creates an energy imbalance. You're giving more than you're receiving, and over time, this imbalance takes its toll. It's not that you don't want to connect, it's that you need energetically balanced relationships to thrive. In romantic partnerships, this energy drain becomes even more apparent. You struggle to connect on a deep level with potential partners. They might find your intensity overwhelming or struggle to understand your spiritual perspective. You often feel misunderstood or judged, leading to a sense of isolation, even within a relationship. Your spiritual growth is a priority, and you're acutely aware that not everyone is on the same path. This awareness can make you hesitant to enter into romantic partnerships. You fear compromising your mission or purpose for the sake of a relationship that doesn't align with your spiritual goals. This energy imbalance and the challenges it presents in relationships often lead you to choose solitude. It's not that you don't crave connection. It's that you've learned the hard way that not all connections are beneficial to your well-being and spiritual journey. Lack of adequate support. As a chosen one, your spiritual and emotional depth is profound. You see the world through a different lens, perceiving layers of meaning and interconnectedness that others might miss. This depth, while beautiful, can be isolating. You find it challenging to find individuals who can offer the level of support you need. Your thoughts and feelings run deep, and you crave conversations that go beyond surface-level small talk. You yearn for connections that can match your intensity, your curiosity, your desire for growth. But more often than not, you find yourself disappointed. The support you receive, while well-intentioned, often falls short of what you truly need. This lack of adequate support can lead to a sense of forced isolation. You might withdraw from social situations, finding more solace in your own company than in shallow interactions. But here's a perspective shift for you. This isolation isn't a punishment. It's an opportunity for growth. In these moments of solitude, you're given the chance to develop self-reliance. You learn to be your own source of comfort, your own cheerleader, your own guide. This forced isolation is preparing you for your greater purpose, teaching you to stand strong in your own power. Difficulties in friendships. Friendship, for you, is a complex terrain. You find that your interests often diverge significantly from those of your peers. While they might be content discussing everyday matters, you're pondering the nature of existence or exploring esoteric concepts. This disparity in interests can make it challenging to form and maintain friendships. Moreover, your heightened intuition allows you to sense inauthentic or superficial connections. You can tell when someone is being genuine and when they're putting on a facade. This ability, while valuable, can make it difficult to enjoy casual friendships. You crave depth and authenticity in your connections, which aren't always easy to find. Your need for alone time is also greater than average. While others might recharge through social interaction, you find solitude essential for maintaining your energy and focus. This need for extensive alone time can be misunderstood by potential friends who might perceive it as aloofness or disinterest. In group settings, you often feel like an outsider. The conversations and activities that engage others might seem trivial or uninteresting to you. This feeling of being different, of not quite fitting in, can lead to a sense of isolation even when you're surrounded by people. These difficulties in friendships aren't a reflection of your worth or lickability. 
They're a natural consequence of your unique perspective and needs. Understanding this can help you navigate social situations with more compassion for yourself and others. Need for inner healing. As a chosen one, you carry deep wounds and traumas. These aren't just personal hurts. They're often collective pains you've taken on as part of your spiritual journey. You're sensitive to the world's suffering, and this sensitivity can leave you feeling overwhelmed and in need of healing. The universe recognizes your need for inner healing and often guides you towards solitude to facilitate this process. In the quiet moments of being alone, you're given the opportunity to face your old hurts, to examine them, and to begin the process of healing. This period of introspection and self-knowledge is crucial. It's in these moments of solitude that you can truly hear your inner voice, understand your patterns, and work on transforming them. The healing process isn't always easy. It requires courage to face your shadows, to confront the parts of yourself you've been avoiding. Your solitude during this healing process isn't a punishment. It's a cocoon, a safe space where you can undergo your transformation. Just as a caterpillar needs its chrysalis to become a butterfly, you need this time alone to emerge as your true healed self. This phase of inner healing is temporary. It's preparing you for deeper, more authentic connections in the future. By doing this inner work now, you're setting the foundation for healthier relationships and a more fulfilling life path. Time required for ideal relationships. As a chosen one, you're not meant for just any relationship. Your vibration is unique and you require a partner who can match your frequency. This alignment doesn't happen overnight. It takes time for the universe to bring together two souls who are truly compatible on a spiritual level. During this waiting period, your focus is directed towards personal growth. You're being prepared for the profound connection that awaits you. This preparation involves developing self-love, understanding your own needs and boundaries, and aligning with your true purpose. The universe plays a crucial role in this process. It's orchestrating events, guiding you and your future partner through individual journeys of growth and self-discovery. This divine timing ensures that when you do come together, you're both ready for the depth of connection that's possible between two spiritually aligned individuals. Your periods of solitude aren't wasted time. They're investment in your future relationships. Every moment you spend working on yourself, healing your wounds, and aligning with your purpose is bringing you closer to the ideal relationships you're meant to have. Trust in this process. The universe knows the perfect timing for everything in your life, including your relationships. Your job is to focus on your own growth and to remain open to the possibilities that lie ahead. Past wounds and trust issues. Your journey as a chosen one hasn't been easy. You've likely experienced deep hurts and betrayals that have left their mark on your heart. These past wounds can make it challenging to open up and trust others, leading to a tendency to isolate yourself. The impact of previous traumas on your relationships is profound. You might find yourself developing defensive behaviors, putting up walls to protect yourself from potential hurt. While these defenses served a purpose in the past, they can now be obstacles to forming the deep connections you desire. The healing process for these trust issues is complex and often lengthy. It requires you to confront your fears, to challenge your limiting beliefs, and to slowly learn to open your heart again. This process can be uncomfortable, even painful at times, leading you to retreat into solitude where you feel safe. But remember, this healing journey is necessary. By working through your past wounds and trust issues, you're preparing yourself for healthier, more fulfilling relationships in the future. Your solitude during this time isn't a sign of failure. It's a sign of courage. You're doing the hard work of healing, and that's something to be proud of. Preparation for a greater purpose. Your solitude isn't random. It's intentional. The universe is providing you with periods of isolation to facilitate your growth and preparation for a greater purpose. This time alone is crucial for your development as a chosen one. During these solitary phases, you're given the opportunity to align more deeply with your true essence. Without the distractions of constant social interaction, you can hear your inner voice more clearly. You can explore your passions, develop your gifts, and gain clarity on your life purpose. 
This time alone also allows you to develop emotional independence. You're learning to be your own source of comfort, validation, and strength. This self-reliance is crucial for the role you're meant to play in the world. As a chosen one, you'll often be called to stand firm in your truth, even when others don't understand or agree. Your periods of solitude are like training grounds, preparing you for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. They're equipping you with the inner strength, wisdom, and clarity you'll need to fulfill your greater purpose. Depth of soul. As a chosen one, the depth of your soul is profound. You carry within you the wisdom that goes beyond your years, an understanding that transcends ordinary knowledge. This depth, while beautiful, can be intimidating to others. Your presence alone can be intense. You see beyond surface level interactions, always seeking the deeper meaning, the higher truth. This intensity can be overwhelming for those who aren't prepared for such depth. They might find themselves feeling exposed or uncomfortable in your presence, leading them to withdraw. You crave deep, meaningful connections. Small talk and superficial relationships don't satisfy you. You're looking for souls who can meet you in the depths, who can engage in conversations that explore the mysteries of life and the universe. Unfortunately, these kindred spirits are rare, leading to feelings of loneliness and isolation. But remember, your depth is not a flaw, it's a gift. It allows you to perceive truths that others miss, to feel compassion on a profound level, to bring light to the world in unique and powerful ways. Your challenge is to embrace this depth while finding ways to connect with others authentically. But what exactly are the benefits of loneliness? As a chosen one, you may find yourself drawn to solitude more often than not. This isn't a curse, but a blessing in disguise. Your time alone serves as a catalyst for accelerated spiritual growth, allowing you to delve deeper into your inner world without distractions. In the quiet moments, you'll notice your intuition becoming sharper, your psychic abilities more pronounced. It's as if the universe is whispering its secrets directly to you. This enhanced sensitivity is a gift, enabling you to perceive what others might miss. Your solitude also strengthens your connection to higher realms and spiritual guides. Without the noise of everyday life, you can hear their messages more clearly, receiving guidance that shapes your path. Perhaps most importantly, this time alone brings clarity to your purpose and vision. You begin to understand why you're here and what you're meant to accomplish. It's like looking through a lens that suddenly comes into focus, revealing the bigger picture of your spiritual journey. Embrace this solitude, for it is the fertile ground where your spiritual self flourishes and your true potential unfolds. While solitude is a powerful tool for growth, it's essential to learn how to navigate it effectively. Start by embracing your alone time as a precious gift rather than a burden. It's not about being lonely. It's about being whole in your own company. Finding balance is K. While you may prefer solitude, remember that occasional connection can offer valuable perspectives and experiences. Seek out interactions that align with your energy and values. Even if they're less frequent than others might expect, understand that your path is unique and there's nothing wrong with needing more alone time than others. Embrace your differences and celebrate the aspects of yourself that set you apart. Remember, being a chosen one doesn't mean you're destined for permanent isolation. It means you have the strength to walk a path that few can follow and the wisdom to know when to seek companionship and when to retreat into your own sacred space. The evolution of relationships for chosen ones. As you progress on your spiritual journey, you'll notice a shift in the way you form and maintain relationships. You'll start attracting your soul family and kindred spirits those who resonate with your energy and understand your need for space. These connections will be deeper and more meaningful than before. You'll find yourself engaging in profound conversations and sharing experiences that go beyond surface level interactions. It's as if you're speaking a language that only a select few can understand. Learning to navigate these new relationships while maintaining your boundaries becomes an important skill. You'll need to communicate your needs clearly Helping others understand that your desire for solitude isn't a rejection of them, but a necessity for your well-being. In romantic partnerships, you may find yourself drawn to those who support your spiritual growth. 
These partners will respect your need for alone time and may even share similar spiritual inclinations. They'll understand that your love for them doesn't diminish when you need to retreat into solitude. This evolution in your relationships is a natural part of your journey as a chosen one. It's about quality over quantity, depth over frequency, and authentic connections that nourish your soul. The role of chosen ones in society. As a chosen one, your role in society is both subtle and profound. You are a way shower, a light worker illuminating the path for others. Your very existence serves as a beacon, guiding those who are ready to awaken to higher consciousness. You inspire others through example, not through preaching or forcing your beliefs on them. Your calm demeanor, your insights, and your ability to navigate life's challenges with grace all serve as silent testimonies to the power of spiritual growth. One of your most important functions is bridging the gap between the spiritual and material worlds. You have a foot in both realms, understanding the language of spirit while still participating in everyday life. This unique position allows you to translate spiritual concepts into practical wisdom that others can apply in their lives. Your presence alone can elevate the energy of a room, bringing peace and clarity to those around you. You may not always see the impact you're having, but trust that your energy is making a difference. Being a chosen one isn't about superiority, it's about service. Your journey of solitude and self-discovery ultimately benefits not just you, but all of humanity as you share your light with the world. Your loneliness is not a punishment, it's a divine preparation. The solitude you experience is temporary, a crucible in which you're being refined and strengthened for your greater purpose. Each moment alone is an opportunity for growth, for self-discovery, for alignment with your true essence. The universe is with you, guiding you, preparing you. Your journey may feel solitary at times, but it's leading you towards profound connections and experiences that align with your soul's purpose. Embrace this phase of your journey. Use it to delve deeper into self-knowledge, to heal your wounds, to cultivate your gifts. Trust that when the time is right, you'll find your tribe, your soulmate, your perfect connections. For now, focus on becoming the best version of yourself. Your time of solitude is sacred. Honor it. If this message resonates with you, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Your experiences and insights could help others on similar journeys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more spiritual guidance. Remember, you're not alone on this path. We're here to support you.